Hello everybody and welcome back to another Grey Man Explains video. Now in this video actually we're going to do our first map tour slash walkthrough of a new map. Now I saw this map come out yesterday, we're actually on the Valley of the Old Farm which is um, a map, custom map made by Black Sheep Modding. It's uh, been released yesterday the 25th of the 4th 2023. It's actually available on all platforms, so PC, Mac, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One and Xbox Series um, X and S etc. So um, I wanted to put together this um, video really because this is actually a map that um, I have had a bit of a look around and thought wow this looks amazing and obviously then uh, Black Sheep Modding also made the um, old stream farm and I thought you know what let's put a map tour together very quickly so I've had a quick look through the map and a quick um, overview of everything else that's on this map so I thought I'd just put this together so right first off we're in new farmer mode and with that we get some quite nice new uh, bits of equipment so not an awful lot but enough to get you started which is nice so you actually get a um, couple of medium tractors the John Deere 7810 and the MF3670 from Massa Ferguson you get the good old Deutz uh, Deutz Far Top Liner 4090 standard pickup um, a nice Welga trailer the header to go with the combine standard plow Pottinger 1 standard Amazoni cultivator um, nice power harrow cedar nice silo loader in there as well a header trailer for the um, the actual combine header and a standard weight so I'll just show you quickly the actual map itself because there's quite a few nice things about this map so there's quite a central um, what I would call like a, a main road that runs mainly around the outskirts and then intersects during the middle and then has a few offshoot roads but there's also quite a lot of nice um, what I'd say probably not dirt tracks but just tracks off into the forest area and in between uh, other areas of fields etc. So you actually start with this farm here and also this farm over here. You start with a couple of fields as well so I'll show you those in a second. So you start with uh, 62, 52, 93 and also number 2 which is right over here. So um, pretty good start in my opinion for a, for a uh, new farmer mode. So let's have a quick look at the farmyard itself. I mean there's some really nice features of this farmyard. There's a chicken coop over here and the animal triggers there. The house is just here. But actually, um, unlike any other map I've ever tried, you can actually go in your house. This is the trigger for changing your uh, character. And then there's a trigger here for sleeping. And obviously there's a kitchen here, which is really, really impressive and really well put together. And then obviously in here is the living room slash lounge, which is again is cool. And then out here is the other side of the farm. So you've got a few of the nice features as well. You've got this um, farm vegetable garden, which I think is a really, really nice feature of this map. You've actually got a well as well, which is nice. Um, this obviously shows in the production chain. You get uh, a fair bit. I mean, I've actually bought a large greenhouse so um, on purpose just to show that off a bit later on in this video. So that's also listed in the productions. You also get, as you can see, you get a big cow barn which is this one here so this one is like it's got a nice area for the um the cows it's got an outside area as well the actual animal trigger is the other side which is actually here you've got a few mods there as well um for the uh, calves to be housed in those so that will do 250 the cow shed will You've got all the nice area for storing of your equipment. Not some really nice barns actually. These are in my opinion. And then you've got the sheep barn which is here. So again, really nice. Um, it's just just a, a really well put together and thought out map. Now this one will take 100 sheep, so that's nice. So you've got 250 on the cows, 100 on the sheep. No, I think, and we're coming back now around to where the main farmyard is. Let's just jump this fence. I think the chickens 
150, so that's good. You've got a few nice areas here as well. You've got uh, a skin bale and pallet storage mod here, so I think that'll put the bits and bobs at the top and also down here, along with some areas to store your equipment. Um, again, this is another area to put your bale and pallet storage, which is nice. You've got a medium petrol tank, so you can actually go in there and fill up. Again, loads of areas for, for storing your equipment, which is really, really nice. And loads of nice little, um, not collectibles, but just nice little items that just finish off this map really well. This is actually the repair bay, which I think is really cool. We've got like a overhead engine crane that you can do work on. And obviously then you've got there for the vehicle workshop. So you've got your spanner for your vehicle workshop. Again, loads of detail being put into this. Re absolutely ridiculous amount of detail. It's absolutely amazing. And this is really, really cool. You've got old grain silos actually built in to this map. And there they are. So I think that's absolutely brilliant. So you can just drive through, unload. Probably don't want to get a, um, a trailer that's like really long or is a really high tip trailer because you might get it stuck. And then you know what the physics are like in FS22. It can be a bit um, <laughs> different. Obviously, this is the area where you can store things. Obviously, I think the bell and pallet storage system will store things up here. If not, if you were really brave and a really good driver of like a front loader, um, you, and it's small enough, you could probably come up here with some bales. Not smart, I'd do. I would crash without a shadow of a doubt, but still, really nice feature. And then over here, a bit more storage. You've got some nice big silage pits. One there, and one here. We've got some nice steps up here as well, so you can actually get over to your cow barn. So we'll just spin around again. And then over here on the other side of where the main farmyard is, which is like there, you've got some uh, very nice, more very nice buildings in for storage again. So some more here, which we can, put, we can have lots and lots and loads, sorry, loads and loads of really big equipment in this map, in my opinion, um, which really is nice. More sheds over here that you own as well. I mean, you can just imagine the amount of equipment sort of you could get in these storage of pallets and bales, etc., even outside of the main um, storage area. So, I mean, this map um, doesn't have a custom crop calendar from what it says on the description. Um, it does have a custom... Um, crop which is alfalfa um, it's not something I've actually ever um, used I've never even grown or sold alfalfa so I don't actually know if it's a, a good crop to sell I mean after doing the uh, run through of this map yesterday and today I'm quite interested in maybe running a game on this because um, it could be pretty pretty nice actually so I think what we'll do now we'll jump in our pickup truck and have a quick drive around the map quickly so you have to excuse my driving because it isn't the most amazing in pickup trucks on FS22 because it's not something I drive very often to be honest with you. I'm more used to driving slow tractors. So as you can see from the um, from the minimap on the left hand side, um, you can then take this little road up to the main, main ring road. So if you drive left it takes you around to the rest of the map. If you drive right it actually drives you around to some of the really nice areas of the um i'd say town it's not really a city it's not really big enough um but one of the good things about this map from what i've seen is obviously it's not perfectly flat it's got some nice undulations some nice hills it's got a nice amount of trees but the roads are quite wide which is obviously a real bonus in my opinion for obviously bigger equipment combines beet harvesters etc as part of the new farmer you also get this farm as well and this farm is mainly, it's got a pigsty which is here, which is again really nice. So that's nice, it's got manure and slurry. And then you can uh, buy the pigs from over here. Now let's have a quick look how big it is. It is 270. Okay, as a uh, player of FS22 that's never actually done pigs in the game, it's, mm, you know, that's a good size pen, I believe. Um, it's mm, something I really, do really need to um, get uh, get on and do in one of my games. 
you get this nice storage shed as well, which I think is really nice. It's one of the uh, Black Sheep Modding's uh, storage environments. And just some more big sheds again. I mean, Black Sheep Modding really, really provided with an awful lot of really nice big sheds to store your equipment, which I think is really nice. And the farmyards seem to be really big as well. So if you've got a lot of big equipment, you need to move a lot of stuff around, bonus. Absolutely brilliant in my opinion. So let's move now, I think, a bit further into the actual town um, on this map. It's got some really nice um, little areas for selling your goods. Wow, uh, nearly crashing constantly, but that's fine. So we'll just come around this corner and we will be, sorry but sure we're coming into the town. So it looks like a very European based town. Um, as you can tell by the architecture and the houses. One thing I will say is there is a stream or a river running through the main map. So as you can see here, so we're just here over this bridge and you can see here there's a stream etc running through and from what I've seen the banks don't seem too big either. So you could quite easily get a tractor and tanker down to that to fill it up, take it back to your farm. So there's a couple of other bits and bobs um, places to sell. So you've got this, which is the Fry's factory. And it's actually not massively expensive. So it's only 50,000, which I think is actually really good. Um, you've got some other areas at the top here as well. But I mean, just the general layout of the um, area on the on this map is, is really nice of everything. You've got a petrol station here, a shop, and you've got... Uh, it's just, just a really, really nice laid out um, village, really, I think. So we've got the restaurant here, I believe. Yep. And some of the shops. And then you've got the main place to buy your vehicles is, is there. So that's good. And you can go inside, which we shall do in a second. I've just kind of dumped the uh, pickup truck on the road. I'm sure it'll be fine. But yeah, you can actually go into this shop. Um, to buy things. It's actually pretty much all nearly full of things to look at. All nice, lots and lots of hammers, um, toolboxes, etc. So lots of time and effort has been put into this to make this just feel a little bit more immersive, which is nice. And we'll go past all these offices. Probably going to get stopped in a minute, but you've got your uh, workshop here as well. And it's got a workshop trigger just around here, which is nice, which is there. So that's good and lots of air places to store things as well if you wanted to. One thing there is as well at the front of the shop, which I've not seen on any of the maps actually, which I think is really quite uh, quite cool and also a bit unusual, is there's like a burger bar or a um, like a, a pop-up kind of um, fast food. So Ches Mimeche and Frito, so I'm thinking that's probably burger and fries. So burgers, fries, etc. So that's really cool as well. So let's swap back to the uh, pickup truck and come out of the fries factory quickly. So just get this spun around and we'll just go back through the town a little bit and just show a few of the bits and bobs that I quite like about this map. So there is, whoa, nearly crashed it. So over this over here and over there is obviously the dealership where we've just been. If we go this way and in here, it's actually a really, really large greenhouse. So I've actually bought this, and this is a really, really big greenhouse, large greenhouse, and also there's a large vegetable garden there. There's also a small vegetable garden here, along with the vegetable garden we've got at the farm. Again, loads of sheds um for storing everything so i mean if you're someone like me who likes to play with greenhouses in the game this is probably going to be something you'll want to buy pretty early on to get your um, productions up and running and i believe this has got some customization on because it actually has red lettuce and melons in all of the gardens so that's in my opinion that's pretty it's pretty cool actually something a bit different to try again contracts seem to be pretty good as well um, I've run through a little bit and they seem to be quite varied with spraying and harvesting and fertilising and it's not just constantly baling which is really nice because you get a few maps out there that are just constant baling contracts. 
I don't mind them, but after a while they get very, very repetitive and very boring. So, I mean, the overall look, feel, and just finish of this map is absolutely superb, in my opinion. Um, really impressed. Probably one of the nicest maps I've seen for a very long time. But even though I'm quite new to Farming Simulator, because obviously I started in FS22, I'm aware that black sheep modding have been, you know, are well renowned as an really impressive um, modding um, like company or group of group of people. So, um, and you can kind of tell because it is very well polished. Everything looks really nice, and it's just really really enjoyable place to walk around as well. So, I actually may be interested in running a couple of uh, games on this myself. Um, and obviously being cross-platform is really helpful, especially for someone like me who plays with uh, Pugsley, who obviously plays on PlayStation. So this might be another series we'll probably run at some point, or I might run as a single player, you never know. So I mean, just generally, it's just a really nice um, map to... And you've got a few areas here as well. So it looks like you can remove fences. Um, so you can press, you can press these to remove the fences on certain areas which is quite nice because uh and i think here is yeah so you can remove these fences as well um on certain fields i've seen these on a couple of places i need to do a bit more investigation to find out exactly where they all are but again that's just another little feature that i think is really good you've then got the animal dealer up here as well which is just up here so that's Again, that's really nice, and you've got a nice place to put your bales as well for selling the bales. I mean, generally, if you look at the actual overview of the map, we'll just run through some of the areas to buy and sell. So you've got spinnery down here in the uh, bottom left-hand corner. You've got a pizzeria, a bakery, which is nice. So slightly spread out, which is fine. That's obviously where our farm was there. And you've got the secondary farm here. You've got the grain mill there as well, sawmill, two sawmills, and a carpentry. There's some good areas, actually, in regards to the amount of forest you can buy. So if you like doing forestry, like on uh, from the from the uh, expansion of FS22, then obviously you can do an awful lot of uh, forestry, which is nice. Up here we've got a uh, biogas plant. That's nice. Um, line production, grain elevator. We've been here. That's the shop. I think you got a dairy. There's a fuel station. Fries factory. We're here. Sorry, we're here. Our trucks there. And we've got um, there's the <laughs> there's the pop up um, fast food joint. So that's good. You got a cereal factory here actually as well, and you got an oil mill, and you've also got a great processing unit. So obviously, being in central, being in Europe, I would say Central Europe. Um, I wouldn't say this is in. A, I wouldn't say this is based in the, the UK or anything like that. Um, it would be quite a nice map to probably grow grapes on. Um, the fields are quite nice shapes. They're not too square. Some of them are a little bit unusual shapes, like this one, and that one probably would have been a bit better for them to be a little bit more rounded rather than quite angular on the corners. But each to their own, I suppose. It probably makes it a little bit easier on some of the. Uh, AI when you want to set them off, so it's good. Um, field prices themselves, they're not too bad. I mean, that's a big field. Let's pick a if you're here, you'd probably pick 83, 80,000. That's not too bad. Up here, 55, 115, 54. Over the road from our other farm, uh, 45,000. That's again, I don't think they're too bad field prices. Obviously, you probably could pick some of the fields up here as well. I mean, 44, 69, 46, yeah. Yeah, so 40, 50,000 for a field, which I don't think is too bad. So that's good. So um, expansion in the game should be pretty quick, to be honest with you. Um, like I said, there's not a, it's not a custom crop calendar. It's a standard one from the description on the mod website. And you've got alfalfa. Now... Alfalfa as a product to sell. Let's have a quick look. This is actually a learning for me as well because I've never done alfalfa before. So 216, 285. Wow, red lettuce is impressive. 54, 
melon, six, seven, seven, pallets, okay. Uh, I see, yep, yep. Fries, sevens, wow, that's quite good. Apple juice, six. So some of the custom things like the lettuce, red, the melons, the fries and the apple juice. Yeah, quite impressive when it comes to how much they'll sell for. Um, standard ones, let's have a look, clothes are usually a good one. So yeah, 11 for fabric, 30, yeah. Okay, so no, nobody's altered anything with those, which is fine. So I mean, generally though, um, I'm really, really impressed with this map. Um, I am very tempted to run my own uh, series on it. Let me know what uh, you think in the comments uh, below this video and whether you'd, uh, you're would you excited by this map and whether you're going to run it or play on it. And um, let me know what your thoughts on the review video are. And uh, if you like the video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, I hope to do some more of these again soon. Many thanks for joining me.